it is pretty stinking cool what happened with iPad OS. Rosemary, do you want to tell our listeners what's going on with the iPad? I, I'm sure those of you who have an iPad that is capable of it have at least turned on Stage Manager and, uh, at some point and played with it. Some of you will have gone, nope, not for me, turned it straight back off. Personally, I love Stage Manager on my iPad Pro and I get really frustrated that it's not there on my iPad mini because it works differently. But, but with iPad OS 26, what they've done is they've added close, maximize, minimize buttons. If these sound familiar and you're thinking, how huh, are they red, yellow, and green by any chance and in the top left corner? <laughs> yes, yes, they are. This is just like the Mac. I am really excited by this because previously it was kind of hidden under the three dots in the middle. So if you knew what the three dots in the middle did for an app on iPad OS, then that would make sense. A lot of really great Mac features that people have been asking for for a long time are coming to iPad. So for example, you can set default applications to open certain file types. As somebody who has multiple applications capable of opening a text file, I am very excited for this. I no longer have to do the tap and hold, open in, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can just say, no, .txt files open in this, PDFs open in that, and so 